Hey guys, James Jagger with Tactical Response, and uh, <laughs> this is part two in the the bug out series. And I had a thanks for there was a lot of really smart responses, a lot of really good ideas that people had, and some some solid additions to the kit. Um, but my poor little bag, it got overwhelmed, and so that's the thing is that we can we can we can go we can go further than we need. And so now to carry some of the stuff, some of the stuff, uh, I'm going to have to employ. The, the larger Maxpedition bug out bag. And uh, you know, I'll talk about some of the stuff that's been added, but also <laughs> I'll probably have to uh, add this Maxpedition duffel bag. So I'll probably be wearing a backpack and carrying this duffel bag. And besides the stuff that you see, I also have to carry camera gear to, <laughs> to document this. Uh, so it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be uh, very interesting to say the least. So let's take a look at the stuff that um, that uh, that I already had, and then let's take a look at the stuff that you guys suggested that I took your suggestion on, and and, and added to the pack to make it to make it bigger. So let's take a look at the at, at both of those things right now. Okay, as a reminder, here's the stuff I had in the bag at the first: the SOL BV, the granola bars, the two two headlamps, um, the uh, the tarp. Uh, for you know, and the tarp can be used uh, as a shelter, of course, uh, or a rain poncho. I could, I, if I had to, I could use it for a rain poncho. Uh, but uh, everybody has this thing about me like setting up a camp, it's not going to happen. I'll talk about that. Uh, everybody said, Oh, you need another source of flame. There's a lighter on the this. It's, and guys were saying, You need paracord. There, there's a spool of paracord. I showed it in the first video. What the hell is wrong with people? Um, the Shamog, nobody really said anything about that. I do. I, I did not. I did not show a pencil for this, but uh, I have one. Somebody said you need you need uh, you know medical supplies in a first aid kit. In the first video, I showed the ventilated operator kit, trauma shears, and a first aid kit. I showed those in the first video. Um, the the weather radio, of course, the uh, the, uh, the the fire lighting stuff. Like one guy said, why do you have a Zippo when you can just have a Bic lighter that works? I already showed you. I had a Bic. I'm taking this stuff to test it. That's why I'm taking this stuff. Okay, and they should put it in a Ziploc bag. I get that. But if I if it can't if it can't get wet, then what good is it really for me? The little cheap little flashlight, the, the Emberlet stove. People are saying, carry a pot, carry a pot, carry a pot. I'm not going to be cooking anything. While I'm carrying the stove, I'm going to carry the stove for to, to use. And I'll explain why I'm using the stove when I get out there. But basically, um, it is about the easiest way to hide a fire. Uh, the, the, the trail mix, the duct tape. Now, uh, a good idea is to wrap the duct tape around the bottle. It's a good idea. The reason I'm not doing that is because anybody's saying, you need a pot, you need a pot, you need a pot. This is a pot. You can boil water <laughs> in this. So you damn sure can boil it in this. You can boil water. You can put this directly onto a fire and boil water. If you don't believe me, I bet if you type into YouTube, boiling water in a plastic bottle, I bet you can come up with a video where some guy boils water. You can boil water in a Ziploc bag. You can boil water in a styrofoam cup. Uh, you don't need a pot to boil water. Um, but that is a good idea, but I'm going to use that that thing to, to heat water. Um, so here uh, is the the Leatherman. Maybe you need a Leatherman. You need a Leatherman. I showed this in the first video. What's wrong with this Leatherman? I don't understand. The tea lights. They said put them in a Ziploc bag so they don't melt. That was a good idea. Thank you for that. Some uh, spare batteries. The, uh, the uh, sorry, the cheap, the El Cheapo flashlight uh, from the $99 bug out bag. Snickers, there's a, there's been a quite a debate on what is the best kind of candy bar to take on the bug out. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, the uh, <laughs> the bumblebee tuna, uh, the water purification tabs, Steri pen, the wet ones. Everybody's like, 50 people put toilet paper. If you watch my videos, this is dual use. You can use these to clean your body all over, including your butt. Uh, there's no need to be carrying these and. Um, and toilet paper and what these do the toilet paper doesn't do is i can i because they're antibacterial i can wash my hands after i use the restroom i can wash my hands with a clean one <laughs> and then of course the glow sticks you shouldn't use those cheap glow sticks this is what i got okay here is the stuff i added okay so here's the, the larger maxpedition uh backpack and um so now what i'm going to do is kind of show you some of the changes. Everybody's like, you need a four inch knife, you need a four inch knife. Uh, okay, so here is a Condor 
a knife. I forget the exact model, but I'll get that for you. Um, condor knife. Uh, just an El Cheapo, but a, but a good, solid, quality knife. You don't have to spend a bunch of money on a knife. You go over here to the side, and I've got the Baofeng radio. Oh, i got to have a radio, i got to have a radio. Okay. Uh, and then there's a couple of lights here that I got. Uh, I, don't, I didn't actually need more flashlights, but uh, I, I got these, and uh, I want to—they're by by through night, and I wanted to just do some comparisons and stuff. So it's going to be dark. I'm going to have a lot of free time, so might as well do some some flashlight uh, comparisons. Um, so uh, so that's it for the for the outside of the bag. Let's talk about some of the other stuff that. Uh, that uh, I've added a couple of contractor bags. I was actually going to put those in there. Several pe several people uh, said to Adam, "So good, good on you, good idea." Uh, somebody said zip ties, um, good idea. I, I do carry zip ties in my my you know my actual bug out bag, but I, I'd forgotten them. Uh, so thank you for that tip. Um, they wanted uh, talking about bringing a monster, and that takes up a lot of room and it's really heavy. So I threw a five hour energy in there just in case you need that extra extra push to make it that last hundred yards, whatever the case may be. Some spare double A's. Um, this uh, um, new uh, Maxpedition uh, Excelsa knife, the large model, is going to be my uh, everyday carry knife, but I wanted to show that. Um, it's going to be my, my pocket knife. Um, uh, 511 flashlight i just wanted to bring it and play with it and see how it worked out it's nothing nothing awesome it's just a flashlight but we'll see how it works out for us everybody said gloves gloves are a great idea that's what i have in my real my real bug out bag and i'm going to use these uh uh these exact impact by uh mechanics uh nice heavy duty uh reinforced palms and stuff good stuff there good stuff um i'm going to take this uh, little uh, azula uh se knife because because Jeff Randall's a friend of mine and has been for a long time. <laughs> People talked about electronics and stuff, so I got this little solar, it's a battery pack with a solar built onto it. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that and just to see how it how it, how it works. Um, can't remember who makes this, but it's got an LED light. Ooh, it's also a flashlight, so it's two for one. Um, I'll figure out who makes this and I'll and I'll let you know, especially if it works works well uh some some hand gel uh of course for cleaning your hands of no, no doubt also it can be used for fire starting and stuff because it's made out of alcohol is flammable uh some some reading glasses <laughs> because i'm old and if i have to do something fine i'll need to be able to see or if i'm going to read that's another thing i might add a book to it probably 299 days it'll finally give me a chance to read it and then um, the h15 uh from olight my friends at going gear senate i forgot about it the other day but this is a really, really neat light, and I'll do an in-depth thing on it uh, out there in the woods. But you're going to actually like this light. It's really fucking cool. Uh, so that's the stuff that I added. All right, guys. Um, so a couple of things. People keep talking about, like, ferrocium rods and, and, you know, pots and pans and, and stuff like that. And I think you guys really don't understand what I mean by a bug-out bag. Okay? You guys are talking about going out in the woods and surviving indefinitely. I'm talking about, and I'll say it again, getting from A to B. Some people call it a get home bag, uh, but I'm talking about from a known distance to a known point, like from a known point to a known point, known distance, known route, you know, like walking home from work, okay? Or, or, or if you're a kid, walking home from school or whatever whatever the case may be. So this is not, we're, we're not moving out into the, into the woods. And, and you guys keep talking about setting up a camp. There will be no camp set up. You guys, you don't understand. You might be moving in a, a, a inhospitable, uh, non-permissive environment. Um, you you might you might just be moving at night, just simply so you can reduce the the, the chances that you'll be seen with the naked eye. Um, so there will be no building of a camp. Okay, now if I build one out there, it's just going to be for demonstration purposes or what have you. It won't. Be, if I was really trying to get home, I would I would move as hard as I could for several hours. Let's call it four hours. I take a nap you know eat, eat something take a nap wake up 45 minutes an hour whatever boom going again uh as long as i can i'm going to take another nap and then going again and take another nap it won't be like oh lay down for eight hours it, that just not not going to happen plus the longer you're in one spot the more likely you are to be found if you are in that, that non-permissive environment also people are saying you also need a gas mask and this and that and and the gps won't work if, if an emp so you need a compass and blah 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 uh 
uh, guys, I, you, if you prepare for everything that can happen, you won't be able to carry the bag. Okay, so I have personalized my bag for what my what might what I think might happen. I'm in West Tennessee, so I think that I, we have a real earthquake issue with the, with the New Madrid fault line. We have a real issue there, and then also if there is just basically general general rioting or chaos caused from some kind of financial collapse, and so it's it's A to B for me. So that's what I want you to consider. It's not it's not we're not going on a, we're not going backpacking. We're not hiking. Uh, we're not uh, we're not going out in the woods to survive. I don't want to live out in the woods. Okay, I, I don't want to I don't want to strike fires with a flint. Why does everybody go right for that? Why don't you just carry a goddamn bic lighter? I just don't understand it. No, it won't always work. Ugh. And like the fixed blade knife stuff. And people are telling me to take machetes and stuff like that. What am I doing? I'm not building a house out there. And the and the, the the fixed blade knife. That is a survival tool. It's not a bug out tool. Now, now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it couldn't conceivably be used, but let's be realistic. We're trying to move light and fast. So why don't we take the stuff we know we're going to use, food, water, shelter, and get going. We're not building stuff. We're not building a house. We're not constructing a fort. Uh, we're not doing that stuff. A to B, A to B, A to B. We're, we're, we're going from, like I said, work to home or whatever the case may be. And so your bag needs to be optimized for that. You have to resist carrying things that you might need. Don't carry anything that you might need. Only carry the stuff you will need. Then somebody goes, but you don't know if you'll need this or that or whatever. Listen, if I got to have a fucking boat, I'm obviously not going to carry a fucking boat. I'll float across it on a tree branch or what whatever you know i mean i you can't you can't prepare that way it is unrealistic and and you easily wind up with something that had if you remember i had duplicates i had two headlamps and things like that just to test them out went from having this little bitty pack this little bitty kids as a matter of fact this would be a great bag for your this little typhoon would be a great bag for your kids book bag if you must say have to have see through bag but great <laughs> great little bag went from that to this thing this behemoth that literally this pack will fit inside of <laughs> and, and and more uh to, to carry some of some of the stuff that people wanted me to carry you have to push away all the static and be realistic what do I need to get where I need to go? Food, water, shelter. Um, you don't need 17 ways to purify water if you're going to walk three miles. Okay. You don't need ferrocium rods if you if you live in a in a tropical environment. Okay. Like if you lived in uh, in, in in the states, if if you lived in California or Florida, you don't really need a ferrocium rod. Okay. I mean, the odds of you freezing to death. Yes, it could happen. I know, but the odds of you freezing to death are very limited. If if you're bugging out in the northeastern United States, not only would I have a ferrocium rod, I would have a road flare to start a fire if I needed to. It's 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 about you. So push away the static. Think about your personal strife, your personal issues that if you had to get from A to B what they are and center your bag around that. I look forward to making these other videos and showing some of this stuff and how it can be used. It doesn't mean I would use it that way. I'm just going to show some of these products and, and uh, give you some examples of, of how they could be used effectively. And uh, I'm, I'm very curious to, to see what you guys think of the whole, the whole process. Just, just curious to think about, to see what you think about uh, my methodologies and, and, the, and other stuff. And the great news is that uh, it won't just be me. There's going to be several guys going. Jay Gibson's going, going to go. He's going to meet me in the in the woods, and we're going to communicate via radio. And we have other guys that are rendezvousing with us at different times. So it's actually going to be neat in in, in that respect. So uh, we'll we'll see what else we can learn on this trip. I do appreciate all of you guys watching. Remember, your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.